ABC6 News Good Morning reporter and royal expert Sydney Zatz joins me live in studio now to talk about this somber day for the United Kingdom. And Sydney, I want to ask you, at Windsor Castle, that's her mm -hmm. final resting place. And that spot just shares so much history for the royal family. There were 10 former sovereigns, sovereigns there, right? Right, and obviously now there will be one more Windsor Castle. As you can see from this video she was taken, that will be her final resting place. Back in World War II, that's where her and her sister Margaret went during the war to avoid bombings. And what's actually significant is during that time, her dad, King George VI, and the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth, continued to work in, uh, in London. And that was kind of, Windsor was kind of their safe um, home. And also, it's a very special place now because that is where the King Elizabeth's dad is married, or buried, excuse me, her mother, her sister, yeah. and Prince Philip, who died last April. Yeah. So he, they actually have not buried his body completely yet. He's in the royal vault, and they want they made a pact to bury them together. Sure, and Sydney, I know that you know you've been to the United Kingdom a few times, and you were there for the Queen's platinum, platinum jubilee. And I also, something that has really stood out to me in all this video that we've been seeing this morning is that from all the way to London, to Windsor Castle, people are throwing out roses. They're throwing out flowers. Mm -hmm. And it's just so remarkable to see because people are truly saying a final goodbye to Her Majesty. And it really is comparable to the distance of going from Rochester to about Albert Lee, Austin, kind of that in-between area. Yeah. Um, I have been to Windsor. I was actually there for Harry Meghan's royal wedding. and seeing all the people there and for the jubilee all the people lining in the streets was so exciting and i'm sure it's a very different feel today when i was there it was all excitement and happiness and i'm sure there's a very somber feeling on the streets of england today across the country she was queen for 70 years and for many that's all they've ever known yeah that's right it's uh as i know you've i've heard you talk about many times it's a great grandma you know that people have lost and you know sydney i know that you love the queen right I and i know that so many other people do so, I mean, is there anything that you would like to tell the Queen and the royal family today? Well, I would just like to say my thoughts and well wishes are with them. And I can only imagine what a difficult time this has been, especially considering they have to continue working. It's unfortunate that as royal family members, they can't take that pro time to grieve. And as you can see here, are some photos and video from, from when you my went time to the, the Platinum Jubilee, Jubilee right? right? Yeah. So it's unfortunate that the family can't grieve in private immediately right away but i think they're doing a tremendously good job and as i said thoughts and prayers are with them yeah and you know we have some of sydney's collectibles here for when she went to the <laughs> platinum jubilee and you know sydney it's items like these that people will hold on to and cherish for the rest of their lives and talk about some of the stuff that you have here yeah so this is the queen elizabeth barbie doll that came out earlier this spring and um that was actually very hard to get. I was not expecting it to be very hard to get. I was right. lucky to pre-order it. But after, I know my mom tried to get one, and they were online already for $200, $300. Yeah, talk about this item here. It's, it's really fascinating. When Sydney told me about that, I just fell in love with it. Yeah, so this is probably my most prized royal possession. This is a program from the Queen's Coronation in June 1953. And honestly, it smells like it's from the 1950s. <laughs> yeah. But really, it's honestly amazing too how it's held up. I found it on eBay for less than $30 and it really is just a tremendous piece of history. And in comparison, when I was at her Platinum Jubilee a few months ago, I of course got the Platinum Jubilee program. Right. And what would end up being her final trip in the color, which if you don't know, that's her final, or that's the Monarch's birthday parade. Even though her birthday was in April, they celebrate in June. So sure. I feel very lucky to have experienced that. And then a few little fun trinkets. My mom gave me a fake plant, so I yeah. figured might as well get some Queen Elizabeth planters for that. And yeah. I mean, really, and then one more thing quickly is just all the newspapers across the United Kingdom. I mean, she was everywhere. Right. The Platinum Jubilee, that's all people talked about. So it really was a special time to be there, and obviously some great mementos to remember it. Yeah, and you know, Sydney, the last question I have is I know that you have a lot of friends who are over in the United Kingdom. What emotions are they having right now? And just kind of guide us a little bit through just some of the things that they're kind of feeling right now. Well, I've seen a lot of posts, people feeling bad and thanking Her Late Majesty for what all she's done. And for a lot of people, as I said earlier, it's the only monarch they've ever known. And I think people are excited about Charles taking over and for that new um, 
new ring, but I do think that it will take a while for people to adjust, not only because this is the only monarch they've ever known, but I think a lot of people grew a personal connection to her, and that's what I've been hearing from my friends overseas. Yeah. And um, as I've also been seeing people have been camping out for days, I saw someone that camped out hours to see her casket, so really a lot of people feel a special connection to her. Sure. Well, Sydney, thank you for taking the time, you know, to talk to me about this and for letting our viewers know everything for what's going on at home. So thank you. I know you're a big royal enthusiast, and I, I'm thinking of you today.